Park. You've won the tickets to the Cleveland Sports Travel and Outdoor Show, which will be at the IX Center tomorrow through Sunday. Have a great time, and thank you so much for watching Ben's Life. I feel kind of naked without the snake around my neck. That is right. gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today we're getting an education in oils, and our teacher is none other than natural health doctor, Bob DiMaria. Great to see you, Bob. Welcome. It's fun to finally have you cooking in the kitchen. This is good. This and uh, we're I do home. this you at did? home. You oh, did? I cook a lot at home. That's what we're going to do? Must be nice for Mrs. D. Maria. It is very nice. Yes. We work together. All what right. I have in front of me is an array of very healthy vegetables. But what we want to focus on are oils. And what we're going to be cooking with today is rice oil. But I'd like to start rice oil. Rice oil. I've uh, heard of rice wine, rice wine <laughs> vinegar, but I've not heard of rice oil. What I want to do is I want to fill these onions into a pot, okay? okay. I had this preheated. You I, were smart and brought your own thing. Oh, I, if you know how, <laughs> how I had this yeah, preheated get to. 400 degrees, okay? Now we use rice oil, and we want these onions to grow or to cook so they're translucent, okay? okay. Uh -huh. Now what's interesting about onions, onions are a great source of salt. Okay. Salt is really important for But let's talk, let's talk about this rice oil itself. Rice oil can be heated to about 490 degrees. Okay, is that the higher yeah. than anything else? That's higher than anything else. It's not going to burn. The reason I did not use olive oil because people are always used to using olive oil. Olive oil is great for sauteing. Okay. But olive oil will start to burn when it gets over 300 degrees. Okay. Olive oil is a monounsaturated fat and it's very, very healthy. Now, what I'd like to add to this as we go on, so we're going to keep on moving briskly along. So we're going to put chicken. Give me that brisk. Yeah, but I want, I want to, I want to cook these. I want to smell that, that uh, rice oil. It really doesn't I, have... Now that I've, I've pureled my hands. That's good. Snake and, and, uh, and we also bread. have in front of us corn oil. Now the reason that I didn't use corn oil is that corn oil is a omega-6 fat. Omega-6 fats can cause pain. So we don't encourage our patients pain? to use corn oil. I'd rather have you use... Okay, stop, stop right there though. Omega, I've heard of omega, but it's three, right? Omega That's good one. three omega is flax oil. You should never cook with flax oil. Flax oil... Okay, what do we do with flax oil? You can put flax oil on your salad. You can take flax oil straight. It's a good fat. It helps make hormones in your body. It'll make your skin smooth. It's an oh, awesome... Okay. It's empty and now. I'm not rethinking it now. So I'm going to keep on adding some vegetables to this. Now zucchini, we're going to add. And as you're cooking along, I'm going to add a little. Smell it. It smells a little um, used. <laughs> this might have been a prop. Uh, is it is. It's, it's a long-term prop. Oh, it's been around a long good. time. Oh, good. I'm all in. I hear just that. added Celtic sea salt. I don't right. use regular sea salt. I like Celtic Ooh, sea what? salt because it's not been tampered with. Okay. Tampered means there's been no. Uh, aluminum or sugar added to it. Which are anti Let me taste agents. that. This is really good. Put that in your hand, pop that right in your mouth. I just added some Celtic sea salt. <laughs> and this is really good. You like it? And I threw some I, I threw some poultry seasoning and I have some just herbs. You can use any herbs that you want from your kitchen. Okay. Some more of that salt. Okay, go ahead, you can do that. You can participate. Thank you. We're gonna throw some mu mushrooms in. Mushrooms? Great source of copper for the body. I love mushrooms in my food. I don't know. Any kind of mushroom? Any kind of mushroom. Now, okay, no, stop. Like, I know with, with, with vegetables, the darker the better. So if you've got shiitake mushrooms, Ooh, they have more They copper, could have more copper in it. But you don't know that. Now, I just know that mushrooms are a good source of copper, but I'm throwing in the cabbage. Okay. Because cabbage is also a great source of sulfur and cabbage great for your digestive system, especially if you have stomach challenges. I do red and white cabbage in. I personally like the red. Okay. I love the flavor of red. Now, we're going to throw in some carrots. Now, you know, carrots, what's really significant about carrots, now, you could have vision issues, and you can have little spots in front of your eyes. Carrots will help take that away over time. We're going to throw some bean sprouts in. Over how much time? Three months. <laughs> it takes three months. We're we'll gonna put the lid on it. Make it no, I'm not making it up. We're we'll gonna turn this up. You have to eat carrots every day for three months. I eat carrots every day of my life. You do. With my eyes. Now, some people say though there's too much sugar in carrots. What do you say about not that? Not more than I usually have people take four or five baby carrots every day. Really? Four or five. But you know okay. what? What we really want to tell people is that Crisco and it's trans fat. Trans fat is the issue. Okay. 
avoid trans fat, and safflower oils can cause pain in the body. It's about pain. See, olive oil will take away pain. All right. Flax oil will take away pain. Okay. Rice oil, which we've been discussing, is a great source of vitamin E. What you know also about rice oil? It's not going to be absorbed into the body. No, so what does that mean? I'm it's sorry, it's not going to be absorbed into the food. Okay, I'm, oh, gotcha. Okay. So the right. food is not going to absorb all of the, that greasy oil. I thought maybe if you put it in your mouth, it, it bubbles up, <laughs> but and then you just spit it out. In my trans fat book, in my, in my trans... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you can talk about your book. No, just, oh, no, go ahead. With the trans fat book, see, people don't realize that trans fat is everywhere, and trans fat can cause pain. Trans fat can cause a lot of health issues. But how do we know? How do we know when stuff has trans fat in it? Does it say on the label? It'll say on the label either zero grams trans fat, and you go to the behind where it says the nutritional, and uh -huh. you see if it says partially hydrogenated oils. And if it says that, that means put it down. Fat. Doesn't this smell delicious? It does. It does. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna and then that we're gonna, maybe bears running back in. And we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna put this. We had some brown rice that we made. We don't use white rice. We're no. gonna put this right over on top like this. Right on top of the mm, look how delicious. Lovely, it does. And that's what I this is healthy too. This is good for your digestive system. It's gonna be good for your skin. It's gonna be good for every part of your body. We and this is actually online. We have a recipe online. Okay. You go to our webpage and go to of course the box. Yes. Well at boxcleveland.com we will link everything to your, your website and um, it's always good to have you here. Mm. Always Bye. I would love to. All right, a little chicken. It's delicious. You can taste all the herbs. It's good. So that's what we did. Thank it's, you. Under, it's under the notion of eating to live, not living to eat. That's exactly right. Right? Let All food right. be your medicine. Let that medicine be your food. Very nice. Did you pick that up? 2008. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. Bob D. Maria, natural health doctor. <laughs> Always great having you here with us. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And then I'll tell you about uh, the chili that I used to have as a little girl, and the, the grease would beat up on my lip. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't absorbed by my body. Uh, 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 I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's back to St. Joe. <laughs> so anyway, I thought it was so cool. I'd take a bite of that chili and then drink my Coke and it would just beat up and that was the coolest thing ever.